Hey, what's going on guys? All right, so I got the uh, E46 here and I got some of this that I haven't got to use yet that I got for the Mercedes and I didn't use. So I figured what better time to do it than to do it on this uh, BMW. So basically you pour it in the oil and you let it idle for like 10 minutes with it in there and it cleans the inside of your motor and then you just do an oil change. And I was doing an oil change on it anyway, so I'm gonna test this and see how the results are for it. All right, guys, here I go. I'm pouring it in. There she goes. Probably just fucking overheat, blow up, and shoot flames everywhere, whatever. But this is Liquid Molly uh, Engine Flush. I had to look up the directions online because the directions on the back, um, if it'll focus, are all in German, and I can't understand it. I'll start it up. See if it blows up. So I pour it in there. It seems to be running fine. Uh, I'll take the time. 10 minutes. 7.21. Um, sometimes uh, smoke and stuff can come out of your exhaust. Uh, I don't have anything yet. But I mean, I'm pretty sure it's pretty clean. Because I looked inside there and the motor looked decently clean. So... I'm just doing this, you know, this maintenance, whatever, and I have the product, so I might as well use it. So I'm going to do this, flush the motor real quick, and then it's getting an oil change. And then hopefully next week, uh, I'll get a new clutch in the, the car, and she should be good to go. All right, now I'm going to change the oil. Um, it's right here, I turned it off. I ran it actually for like 13, 14 minutes. Uh, I even revved it a little bit. You can drive the car. Like, honestly, I didn't notice anything different. And the car, I don't know if it's even did anything really at all. And uh, I didn't see any smoke or anything, so maybe the motor's just clean, I don't know. But I'm gonna change the oil and we'll see how she runs. All right, so I got the oil changed. Uh, I'm about to fill it back up and uh, see if it runs any better. But I ran into this stupid problem, it was so dumb. Um, <laughs> so my original bolt broke. Like, talk about a nightmare of an oil change. And this was stuck in there and I had to get it out, it was a pain. But I had, luckily, this um, uh, drain plug from ECS Tuning from an E46 I had in the past that has a magnet on it to collect metal shavings. So that ended up fitting in there. So, good thing I had that. All right, it seems to run just fine. Um, I don't, maybe my motor's cleaner, I don't know. The oil still looked like dirty when it came out. It didn't look all like clumpy or like something crazy happened to the motor when I dumped that stuff in, so. I don't really know if, uh, if it really did anything at all, really. I don't know. All right, so this just happened. Um, I was driving the car, and there was this dude. Uh, he's way in the left lane for some reason. I don't know. I don't really know what he's doing. Whatever. He didn't move. I had to react. Um, it was coming up on a hill. He was at the bottom of the hill, and I was coming over the hill, so neither one of us saw each other to the last minute. So like he braked for some reason, I don't know what that would do, like he should have just swerved into the other lane, like it's a two lane road. But I ended up, I had to swerve and I went through a ditch and stuff. So I ripped the front um, lip of the car off and ran it over and I got grass in my rims and on my exhaust. Like I even got grass back here. And there's grass hanging from my, from my exhaust and stuff. I mean, it, it, it could have been a lot worse, and lucky the car is in one piece and I didn't die or anything. So I just got to order another lip, but you know, that's 50 bucks. And it looks really naked without the lip. But I'll show you the stock lip, because it ripped that off too. That's in here. So, this was the impact right here. Is it this side or is it the other side? Oh, it got wet. Damn it. <clears throat> I don't know. It's not too bad. I'll put it all back together. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, what a dickhead. <laughs> Drive on your side of the road, I guess, is the lesson of the day. So now I gotta wait a couple days for that to come in the mail, so I'll be driving my car all naked like, and that'll just piss me off, so whatever, at least I'm alive. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, guys. All right, so something just crazy happened. I'm super excited to show you guys this, but I never really thought that this would happen or like whatever, but like, I, I don't know. It was like spur of the moment, like out of the blue. Uh, let me get my flashlight on, but check this out. I'll show you the motor first so you can see what I'm talking about. So here she is, and look what she's got <laughs> hanging out back there. It's a Gretty Turbo, which gas blow off valve, lot cool shit. And what is she? And she's so clean, guys. It's like a pearl white, and there's no rust. Oh, it's it's awesome. Like I don't even. I don't even know. I can't wait to work on this tomorrow and like figure everything out. Uh, right now she runs and drives, so everything uh, works fine. Um, this is a Type S too. It's leaking oil from that line. The uh, oil field line is blown. There's a hole in it. But like, I can't believe I just got that. Um, I got it for a fairly good price. Uh, it's a secret. I can't let anybody know. But. I'm super stoked about it. Like it's everything I wanted. Like it's a clean RSX. Like there's gonna be so much to come with this. Like I can't wait to get it fixed and driving it. Like I don't even know how it pulls and I bet it rips. Like oh it's got a standalone ECU also. Like oh my god, I can't wait to try out this car. Like I'm so stoked. I'm so excited about it. Like oh my god, this is gonna be awesome. Hey, what's going on? Alright, so I decided that I'm gonna see if, and it's crazy hot out here, so I'm sweating like crazy, but I wanna see if the turbo still works. Like, I ordered the part to fix it, whatever. It's gonna piss out oil. Um, I'll show you guys that later, whatever, but it sprays oil, like it's terrible. But, so I'm gonna be really quick about it, and I'm just gonna start the car up, back it up, and then I'm gonna go into second gear and just see if it makes a little bit of boost. So, here we go. We're gonna try it. I mean, she does run and drive. Okay, no power steering. Let's see if she does it. Oh, 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 oh my god! She makes boost! She fucking makes boost! Hell yeah, that was fucking badass. Oh my god, that blow off valve, like that wasn't even 3,000 RPMs and it was like, pew, like, oh, that's awesome. All right, that's all I wanted to see. I can't wait till this car gets fixed. This thing is going to be a blast. Like, hell yeah. I call that success right there. She, oh my god, she works, I can't believe it. So, it does have the five-speed transmission, I guess because it's longer gear ratios and it's a little stronger. Uh, it has a stage five competition uh, grade clutch, so that'll be plenty fine with that. Uh, it's got 440 injectors, uh, standalone ECU, like everything that you basically need. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the Honda on this yet or what, but this car is going to be awesome. Like, it's a Gretti uh, turbo kit, it's the entire kit, um, intercooler, everything. So, I can't wait to have some fun with this. I mean, kind of want to like get it tuned like dyno professionally and like E85 swap it and make it into a monster, but it even has a stock exhaust. So I think I'm going to use like an HKS exhaust and uh, get rid of those catalytic converters if you know what I mean, because we live in a state where none of that really matters and I want to shoot flames out the back and have some fun. So. Awesome, I hope you guys like this new car and I'll show you it here in a second here in the day so you can see it. it's so dirty though, I need to wash it. So here's the walk around. Uh, this is what it looks like during the day. Um, there's a little scuff right there. But other than that, like that's it. Um, like there's no rust here and it's super clean underneath. Um, and I noticed this earlier too. It's got an RSX license plate, so that's, that's kind of cool. But this is all clean. It should clean up real nice. Like it's filthy dirty. But there's not like a lot of door dings or whatever. Like, oh my god, this car is so awesome. Like we straight up just hit boost and I was only at two and a half thousand RPMs because I was babying it. Um I I can't wait till the part comes. 
like to fix it and like I can go actually rip this I need to empty the gas out because the car's been sitting for like three or four years or something so the gas is probably old I'm surprised it like still runs decent but um I'll siphon that out and put some fresh in like oh my god guys are you oh my god I'm so excited this is gonna be awesome so I'm sorry to end the video with there but I just wanted to show you guys that before I ended this video like what is to come in the next future videos like oh my god so if you like this video like it subscribe I've got shirts coming like straight up we got shite box racing shirts coming so if you want one message me like let me know we got stuff coming like there's so much to come this car is so awesome oh my god you guys, you guys have no idea like uh, it, it drives though like like, it, uh, I almost want to just rip it right now, like, with it leaking oil and just, like, like just to hear some turbo noises and stuff. Like, oh, my God. I, I, I got to find an oil feed line. It's the line that goes from the uh, oil pan to the uh, um, turbo. Like, I'm pretty sure there's a universal. Or I can figure something out, whatever. But, like, oh, my God, I'm so stoked. I can't believe I got a turbo RSX Type S. Like, oh, my God. So much, like... There's going to be some crazy videos with this. So please like and subscribe. There is craziness coming. I got three RSX Type S's right now. Like the future videos coming are going to be. Oh my God. I, I don't even know. So I'll see you guys next week.